Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different rather than testing modules. It's time to do a little bit of an upgrade in my workbench. Now, we'll swing it usual, we'll swing around and we'll get a few better pictures here, but the test lights and analog meters that I've got spread out all over the bench have, I've had for the better part of 20 some years, if not longer, in the same configuration. Now, they did me well to begin with. The things have changed. They don't like look as good as I would like them to, and they're a little. A couple of them are getting a little iffy with age. So we're gonna change things up. Um, like I say, I'll swing around here and show you what I'm planning. This will be a multi-step video that uh, do part now, do a few things, do part later, and then uh, hopefully uh, we'll get to the end. Thanks a lot. Uh, like I say, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, in this step, we'll just go over the existing layout. Now, here I have all of these guys here. They're just standard old transformer-type pilot lights that use either the 755 bulb, or in this case, I'm using LEDs. Now, when I had this built early, I had some this built earlier. This is a plexiglass box with a plexiglass strip down either side for spacing, hot glue to hold them all in. Now that was to try and keep things back and tight and out of the way. These ones are 20, and these are 110 volt input. These guys over here, on the other hand, these are 24 volt DC test lights. 10 to 30 volt, but 10, 24 volt nominal. And same thing, I didn't have the money back 20 years ago to be able to do a proper job, so I did the very best I could with what was available. Now all of these test lights are wired into a terminal strip. Now the ones on this side are wired into here which is originally tied into only this AC output card. And originally I had another chassis over here and it had the 24 volt terminals, lights and terminals tied into here. This set here, in the middle, was for a second AC output card on the uh, 1771 chassis. Originally, uh, I used to do the majority of it with 1771 PLC5 stuff. So it made sense at that point to have all of that wired up so I could do two cards at a time, test everything back and forth. So now what I'm going to do is use these, hopefully we can see them there, uh, 110 volt transformer type pilot lights. Again, they're an older light, but as you've seen in other AC videos, the output triac cards require a load. And if you just use an LED, you're not going to get a proper load. And then on the 24 volt side, I'm going to use these Siemens pilot lights and they've got a 24 volt LED module on them. So for DC output, that works really good. That's the plan. Now on the, over here, and getting a big glare, yeah, that's better. So here's the analog setup I've got. I've got four voltage meters on this side and four current meters on this side. And you see there's a fair bit of space between each one with banana plugs below each one, which is a good way to plug things in and out. And again, that's on a, a piece of black plexiglass. Um, very nicely done. Um, but again, everything is spread out and it is getting hard to work with with today's technology. So what I'm going to do, and we'll just move over here a little bit. Okay, there's our pilot lights and stuff. Move this out of the way. I picked up a box. Now this is a steel code box. And as you can see, I've got it laid out here to begin with. This will be the AC pilot lights. This will be the DC pilot lights. This area in here will hold the analog meters. 
now everything is uh, going to be, and this is a four inch or hundred or ten centimeter deep box by eighteen by eighteen inches or forty seven by forty seven centimeters. So everything will be in there. The wiring will come with the bottom into the term strip which will have to get completely reconfigured and cleaned up. So that's my plan. Let's see how it works out in the, over the next little while as I start to build. Uh, layout first as always on the box. Do a whole bunch of thinking because these boxes are not not cheap. It's about $80 Canadian for this box. Really nice. Heavy duty. Be able to screw it onto the wall. And uh, everything will be cleaned up and look hopefully a lot more professional and reflect what I want to show on this channel. Thanks a lot. Um, like I say, we'll... Uh, I'll do the layout and get things ready and prepped, and uh, we'll be back for another video day or so, depending on how life turns out. Thanks a lot. So, time for an update here on the uh, bench rebuild. So, as you can see, I've removed the analog meter panel. I've got the light bulbs out. Oops, get that back down there. Out of the this, uh, where is it? There, here we are out of the side here and I've got the box Let me just go back out a bit I've got all of the devices mounted in it minus a couple of light bulbs the ones on this side here the white ones with the uh, silver bezels on them are 110 volt transformer type pilot lights the ones over here the amber ones are all 24 volt uh, LEDs Got our voltage meters here, our current meters here, and our connections. Now, I still need to, as I'll show you here, wire it up. And uh, turn that over there. There we go. Um, there's going to be a few hours doing this, that's for sure. So, and then, uh, like I said, all the wires that come out the bottom and cable tie into that term strip which I re need to redo and also I need to redo get back up there the wiring arm for the 110 volt uh, 1771 so that it matches the 24 volt right beside it right there okay so that's enough for today um, it's late enough at night I'm gonna call her a day and I'll work on this tomorrow and then we'll do the next update Thanks a lot. Okay, time for a little update here. As you can see, all the wiring arms off the uh, 1771 chassis. The old lights are all down. Everything's unwired from the term strip. The uh, test power supply, which is the uh, BK Precision, is going to stay right where it is. And we come down here, and here's the box that's going up. And look inside, you can see everything is wired up, ready to start plugging away at uh, getting it mounted. Um, here's our current meters, our voltage meters, it's wired, wired down to banana plugs that are all soldered in. There's our 24 volt pilot lights and our 110 volt. And there's all the wires and they're going to come out the bottom and into the uh, wiring duct. So, next will be after I get it up and mounted, I've got to uh, reconfigure this term strip here a bit. You can see they used to have two wiring uh, harnesses here for uh, testing modules. Now we just got the one and this is the 24 volt. So, again, the usual separation is going to be 110 volt this side, 24 volt this side. Thanks a lot. Uh, see you when I come. Hi, so welcome back. Here's my hopefully last video on my test bench. So as you can see, the box is up. I've got labels. I just zoom in there a little bit. 
on everything. There's uh, just just to make it look cute, and uh, I even relabeled my old PLC five rack because uh, there's days when the eyes get crossed and you can't remember which which is which, and it's a single slot chassis. We'll go down here. There's power switch input. All the breakers are now labeled. I've expanded so now I have lots of terminals for neutrals, for positive and negative on the DC. There's our test lights for the DC connections. And then down at the back end I have a 5 volt common 15 plus and minus for testing of QB modules and uh, HYDO2s and various servos. Uh, everything else is, like I say, is, is uh, all set up. There's my, I've set up a little set of test switches at 24 volts that go into this module here on the control logics. And actually what that is, that's a, uh, I picked up some test switches for, they're supposed to be for Slick 500. And there was no way I could hook them into uh, control logics just on the card, so I ended up just doing it this way, being low voltage, 24 volts. It's uh, permissible to put them inside the wiring duct like that. So anyhow, um, let's see, what else we got here? Not a lot. I now have all kinds of room to work in. Go back out a bit. The only thing I that I'm not happy with is the whoops, sorry about that. There's our 24 volt lights, and again, our my standard just on off. Make sure that the uh, system works, and they're tied to the uh, 24 volt. But the uh, 110 volt pilot transformer type pilot lights, I didn't realize. You can probably hear that click in there. Um, I've got one or two that I need to change out that are, uh, I think the transformers are just about gone on them, so not a big deal. I've got two more in hand, so I'll get that done and just make it nice and quiet. And, uh, what else we got? Oh, everything is now wired the same color code for everything. Um, when you look at, go back up here to these arms, I've rewired these. And they're all wired exactly the same. The color codes come down to here, to the uh, test strip. And the color codes from the lights, which are up in here, are done exactly the same. And as the very last, just swing out there. And we'll have a look inside the box, just because. And there we go. There's my nester piece. Again, everything everything's labeled just the way I've always wanted it done. And uh, it's all nice and neat, tied up. And if I ever sell the business to somebody else, they'll be able to figure out what I've done over the time. So thanks a lot. Um, like I say, there's my uh, test bench video. Come back anytime, subscribe if you'd like. Thank you.